Hi and welcome to this video where today I'm going to show you how you can take data from a Google Sheet and put it onto your digital signage screens using embed signage. On the screen at the moment you can see this example Google Sheet that I've set up. It's got four columns of data uh, based on sales targets essentially where you've got the area, uh, the target figures, what the actual figures are and then we've got this calculation over here which is for percentage increase decrease. Um, what we need to do first of all is make this sheet available to anybody with the link. So the way we do that is if we hit the share button and then we simply change access to anyone with the link and then it only has to be a viewer access. We just need to copy the link. Now with the link copied, we can head over to embed signage and then we need to go to the dynamic data plugin area. If you don't already have dynamic data enabled on your account, just reach out to us on support or by the website and we can add that to your account, no problem. No additional fees as well. And then once you're in this area, you go to the add new data source and we can give it a name. Then we've got source type. So we've got Excel CSVs, we've got JSON feed options, XML, tabular web pages, but the one we want is the Google Sheet. The next two options, auto publish and seamless updating, just quickly on those. Uh, auto publish is really if you are adding uh, media columns to these rows of data afterwards or you're making changes to the layout content that you want to be published for those changes to take effect on the device. And that can be set to auto publish when the sheet is updated or we can just set it to seamless update the data so simply the raw data rather than having to take any new changes to the layout etc that you may do uh, for me I'm just going to set this to yes so there will just be the data that updates on the layouts when the Google Sheet updates the next section is the Google Sheet import we've got the update frequency I'm going to set this to every 10 minutes there are other options as well such as 15 minutes 30 minutes an hour days etc but 10 minutes for this one now the spreadsheet id this is where we paste in our link that we copied just a moment ago and the important part we need is the id which is this bit here so everything in between these two slashes so everything outside of there we can simply delete and everything prior to that as well we can just delete so we're simply left with the id then we hit add source. Then we're presented with this page where we can choose what the column titles will be and the header rows will be. By default, it's always the first column, first row. So we'll leave those checked. IDs, these are only really used again, like I mentioned before about adding media columns to rows. If you wanted to associate some images to specific rows, you could use an ID to associate that with. In this case, we're just gonna keep it to the data. It's quite straightforward, so we don't need to check that. Um, and now we hit add source. So it's importing the data. And now if we click into this source, we can see the data that's been pulled through from the Google Sheet. There we have it. Next stage is to get the content onto a screen. And the way we do that is through building a layout. So I've got this layout already that I'm going to be working with. And if I go into the actual builder section, I can start adding the data into a design. And we can see we've got one zone already, this one here. So we can just position that somewhere around there. And we can either double click into it or hit the edit zone playlist option. And then the option we need to go to is the plugin for dynamic data. Click the edit option. Then we've got some configuration items here. So the type, I, I want to show all of the rows of data within the sheet. And then we get to choose the relevant sheet. If you have multiple sheets, multiple sources, they'll become available in the drop down here. And you can also add some queries as well to extract certain data matching those queries from the sheet. For now, I just want to pull everything through. So I'm going to go to the customize option and we're presented with this micro editor. And the first section we need to do is to have a look at the fields. So these are the, the columns of data that we're pulling through and wanting to show in the layout. At the moment, it's only got the one, so I'm going to add all of the columns. So if I hit add fields and then on the drop downs, I can choose which columns of data we can pull through. So we've got target, we've got the actual, we're going to percentage up down. 
And then let's position these, give them a size, let's say I don't know, 300, something like this. And then we want the up down to be underneath the plus and the minus column. So let's move that over here somewhere. Again, same thing. So we can change the size and the positioning of all of these different items within the zone. These are pixel dimensions. So roughly around there, but then we can also start adding in some, some very quick font styling. So on the fonts, we can choose uh, any of the fonts available. I've uploaded some custom fonts already. You can also upload your OTFs and TTFs, and you can also add your own color swatches as well to keep everything on brand. And we'll just do this same for the rest of the zones as well. To 51, we should be able to see quite nicely. So if I finish editing the spreadsheet, essentially that is the data coming from the Google Sheet, exactly as it is on Google into a layout. So I could just publish this down to a device if I wanted to, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a bit more custom formatting. So first of all, I'm just going to save this just in case we have any uh, crashes of my laptop. And then with the data reloaded, let's go back in and we can do some fun stuff here. So we're going to the customized area again. Uh, let's go to our fields and let's have a look at the target. So this one here, let's say this is a monetary value. If I click on that little edit icon there, I've got some basic styling options, but also some formatting features here. So we can choose how to present this data. So we can just have it as text, which is fine. But we've also got some options for HTML, numbers, percentages, currencies, etc. I'm going to choose this to be a currency and I'm not going to add any decimals. I will use a thousand separated, I'll use a comma and the currency symbol I'll use as a pound. We can change that to dollars or euros or whatever we need to. I'll keep it as pounds and we hit save. So we can now represent the data from the sheet as a monetary value. And I'll do exactly the same to the, the actual figure as well. So change it to a currency, leave the decimals, I'll add a comma separation and I will keep it as pounds. And the next section, so the, uh, the up down, this would be a percentage increase or decrease. So again, we come in and we do the basic formatting we choose it as a percentage, uh, again, no decimals, I'm not going to separate anything. And we can see here it's now going to be showing a 60% increase. But to, to represent an increase or decrease, we can also add some conditional formatting. So if we add a rule here, we've got a range of different options. So I'm going to say from this list, more than, so if this is going to equal more than, so if there's a percentage increase, so it's more than zero, then I've got a few drop downs where I can do show text, show media. I'm going to change the row text color, the field color, the row background colors, field colors, or hide the zone. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the row text color that if it's more than zero increase, I'm going to change the color to green so it's all positive. And we can also add another rule and we can actually do the opposite. So, we can say less than and then we can also change that row color to be something like a red. And we can save this. And what we can see now is that based on this formatting that we've set on the, the up down column, we're now representing those figures as percentages. And then we've also got anything that is positive showing in green and anything that is a negative showing in red. So we can also just Position these, um, center these, target, center. Okay. 
and save this. And we can see that now by using some of the conditional formatting rules within the data, we've taken our Google Sheet over here and the formula that's been used and, and all of the data, pull it through to embed and then we can use the layout builder to design it and display that slightly differently. Uh, another option that we can do as well, if we go back in to edit the data, is that at the moment it's showing at exactly as per the spreadsheet, so A, B, C, D. If we go up into the layout settings option here, we can choose to order this slightly differently. So in the drop down, we have the option to choose a specific column. So I may want to say, based on the up down percentage, ascending or descending. So we could say that basically people that need to um, improve the sales are at the bottom, the people that are the best are at the top. So we can see it's reordered it based on this column. Again, we can also you know, flip that the other way too. Some people are going to layout settings, the order by again, changing that to ascending, saving this. And we can now see that people that need to improve are at the top and the ones that are the best are at the bottom. So it's entirely up to you how you would like to essentially display the data from the Google Sheet. You have a, a lot of options there to actually choose how you display it. We'll keep the UI the same, do that. Uh, descending as well, save the changes, go back. And then we can obviously go and preview this as well. And if we're happy, we can then go through and publish that out to our screens. And that's how you can take Google Sheet data into embed signage and display it on your digital signage. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. I'll put a link to sign up for a free trial, 28 day free trial of embed signage on your screens now. Thank you very much for watching.